Yo, what's up guys, the Boxing Legends is back with another video. In this tutorial today, we're going to be talking about how, you, how to debound, debound easily in Roblox. So the question you might have right now is what is debouncing? Well basically, let's take it as an example. Let's say you make a part like, you script a part that basically makes it play a sound if someone like touches it. If, you, if the person touches it and you script it like that, then there's a chance that when a person is touching or walking on it, then it'll keep repeating the sound over and over since the person is touching the part. So debouncing basically makes the person, it makes the sound play once when the person touches. So that's like an example on how you could debounce right there. And in this video today, I'll show you how to do that. So if you guys remember in my previous tutorials, we made a part that basically made a sound and then fall by turning off anchor and just playing a sound when a person touches it. And you guys might notice that it plays sound like multiple times when I'm on it. When I'm on it. So today we're going to be fixing that issue. Okay, so you guys could see over here that there's a part, right? So like I was saying earlier, if we touch the part, then it's going to play multiple. It's going to play a sound multiple times. So we're gonna. I'm gonna show you right now, like what's gonna happen and how you can fix this glitch. So you see this. This is a part, right? When I touch it, you guys could possibly hear that the sound played multiple times. Okay, so how do we fix this glitch is the question. This is what we could do. So we could go to script. And then after play, well, well no, actually after anchored, we're going to type part dot can touch equals to false. So now let's try playing it. And let's put the sound higher. And then now when we touch it one time, it stops so it plays one time as you could see like it didn't play multiple times like before and we could try it again let's try again see if it works and this is to show you guys that it actually works and you guys could hear that it plays it one time and if you guys still don't believe me how about we make a quick hobby with this right we could do it something like this and I'll show you guys what I mean like we're gonna do it like this so like we walk in and it plays the sound so let's keep doing that until it's like long enough and then we're able to like prove that it does something so like this you see this is reasonable now let's try playing and you'll see that it plays only one time the sound so we're gonna walk it and then you see you could see that well you can see that it played only twice and I touched two parts so like that that proves that each each um part plays one time and then there's like the other eight parts we could try those and see if I could jump it hopefully I can and let's see now guys we're here let's try walking it and you hear how smooth that is like literally like you don't hear any repetitive sounds which is a good thing but like you hear it like smoothly and it's like one by one so yeah that's how you debounce in roblox that's like a fast way to debounce and reduce the sound hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye guys